how I'd start wholesaling real estate from scratch in 2024. If I am brand new and I want to get started in wholesaling real estate from scratch, no experience, no money at all, this is going to be the guy that you need to be doing. What is up, guys? My name is Zach Gain. I've done over 2,000 wholesaling real estate deals. And what I'm going to do today is systematically give you five strategies, five methods, five plans for any type of wholesaler out here that is brand new in wholesaling real estate that actually wants to get started and wants to see success. What I'm going to do is break down exactly these five strategies for really five different avatars of people getting started in wholesaling real estate. So you can actually have the best chance of making your first 100K this year. And so you can actually go out here and get success. Now I've been around the block. I started wholesaling real estate over seven years ago, and these are going to be principles that have helped hundreds of thousands of wholesalers that I've personally taught and get started in wholesaling real estate. And ones that are actually going to gain you wholesaling real estate success. As of this video, there's not one other person besides it's me or Rick in on this YouTube channel that has gotten people more wholesaling deals than us. There's not one person that has taught more people wholesaling real estate because we have the only free wholesaling course in the country, which has hundreds of thousands of students. So if you want to check out that free course, it's called freewholesaling.com. But let's get into this right now. Now, if you're getting started in wholesaling real estate, you're going to have a lot of gurus, a lot of people breaking down what is wholesaling. You need to get into it. And they try to explain it. And you're honestly going to find from people trying to sell you these seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollar programs, they try to make wholesaling real estate super complicated. They try to make wholesaling real estate this crazy process. They try to make it super stressful and crazy. And the honest truth is wholesaling real estate, fundamentally what you are going to be doing if you want to make 20K this month is going to come down to three simple principles. That's right. You're only really going to be doing three easy, simple things. You're going to find a deal. You're going to sign a contract and then you're going to sell that contract for a finder's fee or a profit. That is what wholesaling real estate's about. Do not overcomplicate this. Do not make this all stressful. This is what wholesaling real estate is. And once we figure out getting started from scratch, finding the deal, getting the contract signed, and then selling the contract is it. A lot of that stress we get when it comes to getting into wholesaling real estate and starting really starts to evaporate. We actually don't get that stressed out. And the fundamental truth, especially in 2024, is that the hardest part of this entire process is just finding that deal. Finding a wholesaling real estate deal is not going to be the crazy stressful thing. Getting that wholesaling deal sold to a cash buyer is really not that crazy or stressful. That's pretty much the easiest part if you can actually get a good deal under contract. It's still finding that really good wholesaling deal from your marketing, which is going to be the hardest part, which we're going to focus right now when you're starting from scratch. Now, Technically, the first step, if you're starting from scratch, if you want to get into virtual wholesaling real estate or regular wholesaling real estate, is technically going to be the knowledge part. But you're already watching this YouTube channel. Just make sure you're subscribed and you like the video. Just say, keep watching the good content for wholesaling. But once you do that, you got the knowledge right. Now let's kind of get into exactly what we need to do. It's finding that deal. That is what we got to do. So to find our deal, we have to understand marketing. Marketing really comes down to two simple concepts, outbound marketing and inbound marketing. That is it. Outbound marketing is going to be a lot more difficult but we're going to get deals a lot faster. Think of cold calling, SMS text blasting, door knocking, marketing like that, which is really brutal. It's like brutal violence. It's like boom, 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 boom. And then kind of the opposite is kind of that more slick approach, which is going to be inbound marketing. This is going to be a reverse drawing for a dollar, sticky notes, digital bandit signs, direct mail, regular bandit signs, door hangers, Facebook ads, PPC, any of that kind of stuff. Yeah, sometimes it's more expensive. It still technically can be free. It's going to be less stressful, but sometimes it takes a lot more time than just going out here and cold calling. I will tell the vast majority of people watching this right now, outbound marketing is going to be a lot more superior than inbound marketing right now. For the vast majority of people starting out from scratch in 2024, you're going to need skills talking to sellers and you're going to need to get leads right now fast. We can't sit on our butts for months and not get any leads. We're going to actually have to put in the work. And the best way to really learn is really a trial by fire. We're going to go out here and make mistakes. We're going to mess up, but that's okay. Cause we're going to actually use a lot of that stress, a lot of that work, a lot of that effort by actually going out here and getting wholesaling real estate deals. We're kind of learning on the job live here, but that's okay. Now your next question here is, okay, Zach, I know what type of marketing channels to be going after, but what type of list should I be doing? Well, if you're starting out in wholesaling real estate, I'm going to highly recommend you just stick to government lists 
lists. These are lists that you could start out that cost no money to pull. Most people don't actually know how to get these type of lists, so they're not crazy saturated. The vast majority of beginner wholesalers aren't actually doing this because most wholesalers listen to broke wholesaling gurus. They just tell you to go buy a software, pull a list on my skip tracing platform that I get a kickback from, and just go to town with 30 other wholesalers going after the same list. Or they'll tell you you can use a new innovative strategy, but you got to give me a seven, eight thousand dollar course or spend 40 grand a month on TV ads or Facebook or SEO PPC type thing. And really, if you're watching this, you're going to be like, I'm not dropping seven grand on direct mail. So what do I do? Right. And that's kind of what the gurus tell you to do. What you should be doing instead is just pulling government lists, which still on this YouTube channel, we're the only ones to ever talk about this special list that has thousands and thousands of leads every single month that no one ever talks about straight from the government with a lot of motivating factors. They're going to get you deals. The reason why I love government lists so much, if you paid eight, nine, 10, 12 grand a month in direct mail and you start getting deals, a lot of those deals are actually going to be on these government lists that I'm talking about today. That's how we discovered this type of list. These are going to be lists like the pre foreclosures, people behind all the mortgages, the code violations, people tall grass, structural damage, that code enforcement's going around town, driving and finding and actually putting fines on these properties, the arrest record list, people like getting arrested and seeing if they own property, if they're going to go to jail, see if they want to sell their property, the liens, the tax delinquencies, people behind on their taxes, probates, people that pass away, you're reaching out to the heirs, the evictions, you get a lot of really landlords that are sick of rental properties here, fire damage properties, houses that went on fire, you could still wholesale these, water shutoff list, the water's not running on the property, the person didn't pay for it, IRS tax lien list, people not paying their federal taxes, the credit card debt lien list, people not paying their credit cards. These are free lists you can pull from your government. And if you go to freewholesaling.com right here, my free wholesaling course, you'll be able to learn systematically step-by-step -step actually how to pull this information. Now, I'd love to give you a screen share right now and show you for the next hour exactly how to do this. Unfortunately, due to YouTube's privacy policies on private information, I cannot do this anymore. I used to be able to do this on this YouTube channel. So what I did was decide to pay tens of thousands of dollars a month on video editors, posting, employees, just to create a website where I could teach wholesaling real estate on a private server where I don't have to rely on any other social media platform. I created my own basically platform for this. It's a new education platform. It's called freewholesaling.com. It's a free wholesaling course. All the information of wholesaling real estate's on there and it's gonna show you exactly how to wholesale for free step by step. All my screen shares, recorded calls that I can't post on YouTube, but it's all in there. So I highly recommend you go check it out. Now you can use paid lists. You can use listrei.com, aka PropStream, zackdata.com, aka batch leads if you want to go pull a list and skip trace. But for the vast majority of wholesalers out here, especially brand new beginners, I am going to recommend you just stick to government lists. Now, a lot of you are going to be like, Zach, how do I give someone's phone number though? I got no money. Well, I got you covered here. If you want to find somebody's phone number, just use a website like cyberbackgroundchecks.com or truepeoplesearch.com. These are great websites for you to find someone's phone number for free. Now, for the moment of truth here, I'm going to break down right now my five strategies for beginners in 2024 to actually start wholesaling real estate from scratch with no money or no experience at all. This is going to be from, hey, this is a lot of work to do this type of strategy, but you'll do very, very well to yes, this one's not a lot of work and it might not be the best chance, but still a great strategy for you to get wholesaling real estate deals right now. So let's kind of start off with strategy number one. Strategy number one, this is pretty simple, but text 75 pre foreclosures every single day. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot or doesn't sound too crazy, but it is something you should be doing. Seriously, pull the pre foreclosures from the county clerk of the court, get their phone number at cyberbackgroundchecks.com, use your personal cell phone, use Google Voice, use a combination of them, send five text per hour on each platform. It's about over eight hours. You can do this on both of them and you can send around 75 texts a day. 75 texts over a month should be about 22, 2300 texts every single month and it's going to get you results. I do recommend you use my double whammy script I have in my free wholesaling course, freewholesaling.com. And if you keep consistently putting texts out here, you're going to get wholesaling deals. Strategy number two, this is another really good one, but this is cold calling 25 probates a day and then putting four digital bandit signs out every single day. Now I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but it's kind of more of a skillful approach if you're working a full-time job and you don't have that much time, but you still want to get started in wholesaling real estate. So this is pulling pro at least 25 probates a day, having some conversations with them. This should get you hopefully in front of 14, 15 probate sellers a day and posting about four digital banded signs, two posts on Craigslist, two posts on regular big Facebook groups. This should be getting some leads coming in your inbox. Not a crazy amount that's banging the door down, but it is a strategy you should be using that is going to lead you to some wholesaling real estate 
success. Now, strategy three, this one, uh, maybe it's kind of my overboard overkill strategy, but it is a strategy that is going to work for you. This is cold calling government lists for five hours a day. I, oh, oh, I know. Hey, hey, before you scream at me, before you're all mad at me, hear me out on this. If you are ready to dedicate 100% of your efforts into wholesaling real estate, you got no money, you went up to me, let's say you pay me five grand and you say, Zach, give me everything you know. How am I going to be successful? I will do anything it takes. What I'm probably going to tell you is pull government lists all day and all night in the morning and from 2 to 7 p.m. just strictly cold call government lists. That's it. Those pre foreclosures, those code violations, water shot offs, etc. What I kind of explained before, just cold call for five hours a day. I know it seems overkill. Maybe it's the David Goggins approach of wholesaling real estate, but this is an approach that isn't too far fetched. This is what I did when I was a teenager, when I first started cold calling for me to consistently get deals in college. And I never stopped doing this. I cold called five hours a day, five days a week for a complete year straight. That's all I did. I just pushed the pace. I never stopped and I consistently cold called and I consistently got deals. Now it is a little overkill, but because of me doing this, I got extremely good at talking to motivated sellers and I got really good at closing deals. So it was a really good win for me and it really helped me explode my wholesaling career. And I feel like if you're doing this from scratch and you're willing to dedicate everything to becoming a successful wholesaler and to get rich, become a millionaire quick, this is what you need to be doing. It's not for the faint of heart, but it is something you should seriously consider for strategy number three. Strategy number four, a little less overkill, but still a lot of work, I would say, is gonna be strategy four here, which I think you should text for like three hours a day if you're super scared of cold calling. So probably spend five or six hours a day still into wholesaling where you're just skip tracing a lot and doing government lists, but you're dedicating at least three hours a day of just texting. You might get some burner phones, Google Voice, your personal cell phone, but sending two to three hours a day just texting motivated sailors all day, every day. If you're not a big cold caller, this might be a strategy too, but texting really good government lists that are really niched out are gonna do a lot better than a paid software. So you should still highly consider doing this. Last but not least, this is probably my double threat system. But strategy five here is for you to text and cold call all the lists that I say right here. So you should call and text. So cold call the entire list and then text after or text the entire list and cold call after all of the evictions, all the fire damage properties, all the arrest records and all the liens in your county for the past 30 days. Now, why did I specifically choose all of these? Because most wholesalers will do one of these or maybe two, but they don't text or call all of these. And for most of you guys like, well, yeah, I'm going to do what Zach says, but I'm going to avoid the arrest records because I just don't want to do it. No, 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 no. There's no buts. There's no excuses to this little method I just said here for strategy five. You are going to do exactly exactly what I say. You're going to text and cold call why skip tracing all of those lists, the evictions, the fire damage properties, the arrest record list, and all of the liens. You are not going to be a quitter and you are not going to make excuses. You are going to do this and you're going to become successful. These are strategies. These are plans that you are not going to change. These are ironclad. Do not mix and match ones that you like. These are ones that I've completely curated and tailored for beginner starting out in 2024 that I know that is successful. Once you start changing these plans, it's going to get a lot more difficult to do. So if these are plans that you're looking to do that you're actually going to implement, let me know in the comments below. If you consistently can stick to a plan like this and consistently do the work, I know you're going to become successful in wholesaling real estate. The truth is a lot of people talk the big talk. They walk the big walk. But the real question is, are you actually going to follow the plan that I set forth with you today and actually stick to it? Most people can stick to a plan like this for a day or a week, but after week three or four, they quit really fast. If this is something you commit to at least a minimum of two to three months, I promise you, you're going to start seeing results. If you're ready to commit, make sure you go to my free wholesaling course, freewholesaling.com to get your knowledge up. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. This is Zach Ginn signing out. I believe in your success and I can't wait to see you. Have a blessed one.